so let's start your snap interview for yes, rcc sir. as you have interview in npcil date of interview 12th june 2023 so first yes, of all please introduce yourself good afternoon sir myself sahil from modi nagar district gazebad up i have yes. done my schooling from trm public school modi nagar i have done my btech in civil engineering branch from college naming hr institute of engineering and technology dhuhai gazebad I have done my 12 week training from ONGC on green building. I have done my BTEC project on how to control soil erosion on sloped embankments. That's all, sir. What you What you did in this uh, green building work, sir? Truthfully, I can say if uh, just a mock interview thing. Uh, hmm. When we reach there, uh, my buaji is a Raj Bhasha officer there. and when we reach there there is nothing we can do in green building it was already constructed it was just the finished structure and uh, there was nothing else uh, what we can do uh, data to mila hoga padhne ke liye ha data data mila tha to usme kya hai they told us it is very sustainable but the initial cost is very high uh, the hmm. senior engineer was there he told us uh, we have used fallopian tubes for air conditioning systems in that they said the tubes were passed under the ground because the temperature above the ground changes but under the ground it stays the same so he said that the air passes through those fallopian tubes and then the air conditioning works so they have told that this is a kind of low cost high cost equipment but kya hai further maintaining is slow and about the <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry about uh, the water uh, conservation they have told that they have uh, installed the rain harvesters and the water used in toilets uh, during flushing is also being recycled they have used big pen big panel windows instead of lighting in every cabins uh, the cabins constructed on the outskirts of the building the outside cabin they have used very big panel windows and uh, to reduce the solar emissions and heat they have provided the uh, a small kind of space between the two glasses so that the outer glass heats more and the heat does not get transmitted towards the inside glass so these kind of things they have told us but in case of uh, us to uh, do there uh, there was nothing we can do it is only the data we have provided so that we just need to study and get the certificate done okay so uh, sahil how will you define the uh, pcc and rcc pcc is the plain cement concrete and the concrete which is embedded with some reinforcement is known as rcc is it possible uh, that reinforcement is there in the concrete and still we are saying it as a pcc no sir reinforcement provided that's why we are saying that it, it is reinforcement reinforced concrete reinforced uh, means we are embedding the steel in that uh, and pcc is a plain cement concrete only there is no reinforcement that's why they are different how can we say that reinforced concrete is pcc okay what is the role of reinforcement in concrete uh, concrete is generally a brittle material so by providing reinforcement we are uh, making it tense uh, making it strong in tension therefore therefore if uh, there is a higher load tendency so it will get transformed and it will avoid instant snapping so we are uh, providing the reinforcement in order to avoid catastrophic failure now we just want the this gradual tactile failure of the okay you are introducing the steel as a reinforcement fine right? mm -hmm. so is there any percentage specified by the is code this yes, sir. yes sir 4% of the point uh, 4% for both tension and compression reinforcement minimum ast is maximum na minimum ah sorry minimum ast is provided as 0.87 by fy into bd 0.87 or 0.85 0.85 by fy by bd sorry sir now listen carefully if steel as a reinforcement is there if it is less than the minimum steel reinforcement requirement Mm-hmm. Now what? We still call it as RCC. 
the section is not put a limit na i is could put a limit there should be a minimum reinforcement in b in 0.851 fy in column 0.8% of gross area of column same for this slab also 0.12% of this gross area of slab for this fy415 and 0.15% of gross area of slab for fy250 we are providing the less what is the minimum steel requirement by the is code what do you think pcc or rcc can't comment on that sir but uh yeah it still uh, have some kind of reinforcement so i would say it is rcc what is the purpose of reinforcement sai why you are not understanding kaam kya hai in steel ka kya kaam hai concrete ke andar tension ko bear karna bache aur jo tension steel bear karega uske liye minimum steel requirement specify kari hai is code ne clearly bol raha hai is 456 do you know yes sir have you ever seen this is 456 2000 not particularly sir but just Uh, read those uh, is code mentioned codes which are provided in notes kabhi code dekha nahi zindagi mein open nahi kiya sir nam kabhi open kar kabhi samay hai theek hai dekho usko is 456 is kind of bible for the civil engineering what i have written on that code you have to blindly follow that one okay it is clearly mentioned there okay no issue so uh, reinforcement why we are taking steel as a reinforcement why not other metal sir aluminium is very costly and steel is uh, uh, steel is generally on the economical side so that's why we are taking steel as a reinforcing material or suppose if you are getting the aluminium on the less cost what you are getting for the steel then you will use the aluminium No sir, but it also has don't know that the answer. Very basic. I am asking very basic. Okay, I am getting aluminium at a less cost. Would I consider it over the steel? I told you, na cost is not an issue. You okay. provide aluminium is on the lesser cost, but you are getting for the steel. What do you think? Which one you prefer, steel or aluminium? On the basis of cost, definitely you will go with the aluminium, isn't it? Yes, sir. That is not true, na? Okay. So, how will you define the ultimate state of a structure? Ultimate state of a structure is the state ultimate state. Hmm. Ultimate state is a state on which the load is multiplied by a factor of safety. it no it is known as the ultimate state uh, uh, ultimate state yes I'm not asking the ultimate load ultimate I'm state what is the meaning of the ultimate state ultimate state is the state on which ultimate sorry sir ultimate state is the state at which the structure is unfit for use uh, it is known as the ultimate state okay now what is the mean of this unfit for use unfit for use sir uh, unfit for use that it can develop some kind of uh, sliding or uh, overturning can happen or load is that much that it can uh, cause any kind of catastrophic failure or danger for life uh, in that way it is unfit for use oh. okay fine so uh, can you define what is concrete concrete is a mixture of sand cement and uh, sand cement coarse and fine aggregates with water the mixture is known as concrete it is a brittle material it has high compressive strength tensile strength is almost negligible what about the admixtures why you are forgetting that one so the uh, admixtures admixtures are 